There are going to be word problems. Just don't, don't worry about these because on, <laughs> on these ones, they're, they're pretty much always going to give you the function for these, which they've done right there, right? A business estimates the value of V of T of office equipment is decreasing according to this function. That's great. Where T, is rep where T represents the number of years that have elapsed. Since the equipment was purchased and V of T is in dollars, graph the function. Find the equipment's value after year six. This little bit. Uh, we're only looking at the first quadrant on this. Because <clears throat> um, we are looking at values, right, and time. Time is always going to be our x-axis. And on this one, we can see that the time, I'm sorry, the value is dependent on the time because it's V of T. And specifically, we want to know the value after six years. So each of these lines, we're just going to say is going to represent a year. Now, these values are going to be decimal values. So we're going to need a calculator to solve these. And before I put in the Y values, which is the value of the equipment, what I'm going to want to do is make a table for this. So there's my table. The smallest time that I'm looking for is zero. So that would be the current value of the office equipment. And I can go up from there. One, two, three. And that should get us to year six, which we should be able to see the behavior of this graph as well. Now I'm just plugging these T values into the equation. So for example, when T is zero, I get 43.8. When T is 1, I got 30 points. I'll just make that 0.7. It would be hard to graph the hundreds position on these. All right, so these are the values that I got. Notice I did put the hundreds position on the 6 just because it did say in this question it, it wanted specifically the value after year 6. So we do need the pennies for that one. And we can answer that right now, right? $5.15. That's not a lot, but if you have a business, that's all tax deductible. All right, let's get graphing this garbage. So at zero, I need a scale for my y-axis, right? And this was in years, my x-axis, or the time. All right, so I can see the maximum value I have on this is 43.8. And the minimum I got is 5.15, so let's just go to zero on this thing. And just so we can see, if we wanted year nine, that was, uh, I got 1.8 on that, about. So if we go up, well, how many lines do we got on this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it looks like we can go by fives, and that would get us a little bit higher than that 43.8. So I didn't put the numbers on all those just because I can't fit them. But we can see they're going up by fives because it's going up by 10 every other line. So our first point, let's put that 43.8, uh, 0, 043.8, which would be about right there. And we got 1 and 30.7. Hopefully we can see that uh, even the tenth position on these are very difficult to graph. All right, so there's our graph. These are just the points for the whole values. Now we can just connect these since we know it's nonlinear. And there's the graph. That looks pretty good. And we're to answer the second question. After the sixth year, all the equipment would be about $5.15.